There are tremendous opportunities here and there are a tremendous number of people who are sensing that and preparing themselves for what I think will be a very productive and a very rewarding future. I'm sure those of you who are viewing this, uh, at least some of you are wondering why you might do this program, why you might invest uh, the time and the money to prepare yourself uh, to be much more effective in managing conflict. You may wonder about the field of conflict management and the opportunities that it might provide uh, as you think about the investment you may be making. Uh, certainly as one looks around, reads the paper, or watches the news, uh, there's no shortage of conflict. Uh, in fact, and perhaps unfortunately, in a sense, it's a growth industry. And it's a growth industry because as we bring cultures together and values together and people together, it just doesn't always work out smoothly and easily. And so the diverse society we live in calls for those who are called uh, in those difficult moments to bring about a sense of peace uh, in a productive and a respectful way. We have students who recognize that as part of their current careers, regardless of what they're called or where they are in an organization, they spend their time managing conflict, or as I say sometimes, managing difficult moments. Think about your day, think about your week. How many times would those skills have been helpful? I think other people have a, a larger calling, a sense that, uh, that, that the idea of reconciliation, the idea uh, of managing difficult moments uh, not only is something that has practical value in their business or professional life, uh, but it's something they feel called to do because our world so badly needs it. One of the changes going on in higher education is the recognition that instead of being in silos uh, and departments and colleges, the exciting part of education right now is the fact that we bring various disciplines together and recognize that while they all have a distinctiveness, there are great possibilities for them to be combined. Conflict management is certainly one of those areas. Uh, here we are at a university where uh, we have this outstanding institute, and that institute not only has its own students, uh, but serves uh, uh, our uh, School of Theology and students that are thinking about uh, professional careers that way, uh, serves our College of Business, and we know that 25% of a manager's time is spent dealing with conflict, so how appropriate is that? Uh, serves a, a brand new program in human resource management, and we think about people, think about difficulties, and once again there's a relevance. One of the questions that has been in this field for 25 years is, what do I do with it? If I make this investment, uh, where do I go? Uh, certainly there is a piece of this that is part of the legal profession and there are people who are successful using this set of skills there but it's much much broader than that uh, most of the labor management mediators in the nation are not lawyers uh, they're people who have learned mediation and arbitration and applied it in the context of labor management relations uh, most of the environmental mediators in the country are people who may have a substantive background in the sciences but find uh, tremendous satisfaction in facilitating the resolution of environmental disputes. Think of the area of human resources and uh, those people that are responsible for the human capital in an organization and, and what a wonderful set of skills this would be for them to have. And the list goes on as we think about nonprofit organizations and communities, as we think about families and counseling, uh, almost everywhere one turns there's an application of this set of skills.